Okay. We rolling? We're rolling. All right. Let's hear about Operation Donkey Freedom. Operation Donkey Freedom. Okay. So Operation Donkey Freedom. <sighs> so at the there's a place in Iraq in the Sunni Triangle, and there's this lake. It's called Lake Habania, and by this lake is this. Uh, and there's a lot of desert nothingness out in this area. And then there's a little city, Habania. Which, and so in between the Lake Habania and the city Habania is this blank area of desert. And in there are these underground big bunkers full of munitions. You know, you know, stacks of munitions for like artillery and all kinds of who knows what. But lots of, you know... Explosives. American forces, or American allies. This is you know, these are the uh, uh, Iraqi Saddam's stuff. Now a lot of that stuff was missing, but there was some stuff left over. So we were tasked to guard all that stuff, because what would happen is that people would be stealing some of it and making explosives and IEDs, you know, stuff like that. There, there were uh, uh, it was called UXO, unexploded ordnance everywhere. Um, a buddy in second platoon lost his arms and legs. Fair. Um, he's a solid dude. He was a, he was a really friendly guy. I really liked him. And uh, uh, that's another story on the side. Where are we going? Donkey Freedom. Donkey Freedom. So we're out at the ASP and um, some of the local people. The ASP is the ammo supply point. That's where uh, this these underground bunkers of munitions were. It was called the ASP. That's what it's called. Uh, to keep the people going in there, the locals going in there and stealing munitions, because they're scattered everywhere. I mean, there's lots of explosives to be had. And we're a small platoon. Uh, uh, you know, we've got like 25 guys or, you know, not a lot of people. And this is in an area of kilometers, like three kilometers or, you know, or, or you know, it's, it's a fair amount of area, big area to where, you know, somebody, the area that we're watching we were at OP2, which was a tower that was had been blown to pieces and half, you know, had holes in it, and you know that was where we lived part of the time. Now we cycled missions with everybody, so it, we would be there for a couple days, and then we'd go on to another mission and do that mission and cycle out with a lot of guys. So Donkey Freedom was where there people came into the ASP, they snuck in, and they were dragging a bunch of. Um, explosives and stuff and brass and who knows what pulling it out of there with donkeys and somebody spotted them and we laid chase or whatever had happened and but they got away but they left their donkeys and so we wanted to do or and there was a real mission called Operation Donkey Freedom and what we did was we knew the donkeys were valuable the people, you know, two donkeys is valuable to these people. They'd probably want to come back and get their donkey, maybe. That's what the hope was. And so we were going to lay an ambush ready for them when they come back. And that's what we did. So we, before, so the idea was to tie the donkeys to a pole out in the middle of the ASP, and we were going to go hide over here, right? So we do that, but we ride it first. And I'm scared of horses because I fell off a horse when I was a kid. I'm just terrified of horses. But I got on the donkey and rode it around, and it was a big deal to me. And, and I remember, you know, Davis and Ford and everybody, we were just having a good time riding around on these donkeys, you know, before uh, the mission. So the mission happens. So we're waiting at night. We set them up during the day, and we go out, and that night we're hiding behind this berm. We had infantry came out for this one to come join us. And they had great optics with that on their Bradley, right? So they can really see. And we felt, you know, I didn't need to be up on a berm peeking my little head over and watching, you know, with my night vision and thermals and my saw. And I didn't need to do that. This I could relax because the Bradley's there. So they drop ramp. And we're all hanging out in the back of the Bradley. And somebody's got a little small DVD player. So we're, we're watching uh, uh, Orange County. This is the first time the movie Orange County with Jack Black and whoever else is in it. But... And so we're laughing and giggling, and we don't even care about this mission. Like, I'd rather watch this thing here. I don't care about the guys stealing munitions. I'm just tired of all that. I just want to relax and have a smile. And you feel, and you feel camaraderie with these guys, too, because, you know, we're not infantry guys. We're, we're combat engineers, so there's a difference, and there's, a, there's uh, this friction. You know, when we were in Fort Riley, the infantry guys rode on the side of our building pogues. 
which is uh, military slang for you guys don't do nothing around here. You ain't worth nothing. You know, you ain't no fighter, right? And that was like a, a shot to our pride. And I remember I was just like, you know, I was pretty pissed off about that. I'm like, you know what, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm just as tough as anybody else. But the infantry didn't think that. But now we're out at Iraq pulling our weight and some. And so uh, anyway, so the infantry come along on this one and we're like happy to see them. And so we're buddy, buddy and just having a good time. And the TC of that track actually got scars all over his face from another ambush that they got hit really bad. And that's a whole nother story. And uh, where are we at? Well, first, from Dr. Freedom, you're watching Orange County with Jack Black. So it's nighttime. We're watching the movie and we're not paying attention to the uh, mission at all. And uh, uh, they never come and get their donkeys. So we end up saying, all right, well, we'll just let them go during the day. And wherever they go, that's where we're going to go to. You know, we're going to raid every house that the donkey goes. And we, I remember we just let it go. And I don't remember exactly how it played out, but we didn't end up. It, the donkeys weren't going nowhere. Really? They were happy hanging out with you. Guys. Yeah, I don't know. If we were riding them. Maybe they were like, "Hey, well, you guys got some food or what? MRE or MRE." So that's you uh, get them? I don't know. I don't remember. But that's donkey freedom there. It's donkey freedom. Yeah.